Hi there guys, um, so I've been getting asked recently on how to make uh, a launcher that looks like this and this is Nova Launcher and on Reddit I've been showing this launcher off and I've had people ask me how do you get it to look like this so basically what it is is very simple the icons that I use is the main part of everything so I will show off which icon I am using, just hold on. So if I go on to my settings for Nova Launcher, this is Nova Launcher settings, so most of you know this. Uh, if, if you've used Nova Launcher before, I'm, I'm hoping to post this in the uh, Nova Launcher Reddit page. So as you can see, uh, just looking normal and everything. So if I go into look and feel, you can see which uh, icons I'm using. And it is 11 UI, so you can get that off the App Store. It's not um, it's not off anywhere else. It's just off the App Store that I've got it from. So 11 UI it is, uh, I think it's free. I am not sure, but I think it is free. I downloaded a couple other ones as well, as you can see. iOS 11, iCompact, Clean Droid, iCompact. But main one is this one, 11 UI, which is probably the best one I've used. So what I did basically was go into look and feel, change it to this, made the uh, animation speed to relax because I'm using a OnePlus 6 and the animations are a bit fast. So obviously with, uh, with iOS it's a bit slowed down so that's why I put it to relaxed. Um, and then app an animation is zoom. Because I wasn't able to get that same feel of uh, the new iOS 12 where if you swipe up it goes back into the app animation. But instead, of, because I couldn't do that, I just had it. So you, when you press an app, it opens it like that. It opens from like zooming, in, zooming out into the app. But yeah, so that's one of the things. Uh, look and feel, what else is there? So I've got the defaults on, so all this is the default. Okay, so if I go into home screen, this is the main part. So I've set it to 6x4, set the icon layout to uh, the highest that it goes, the highest I can make it. And uh, I've got, I forgot what it's called now. Um, it's um, the where it matches the design. Let me go back. So basically, if I go back into here, I'm not really good at making videos, but I've just been asked to make it. So yeah, if I go into here, you can see that I've got an auto gen, rounded square, reshaped legacy ones, and oh yeah, that's what it is. Normalize, normalize icon size. That's the main thing I've got at the bottom there. So yep, yeah, I've set it to that. So it'll all be at the same size because I've had it where they're all at different sizes, and I don't like that. So I've just set the icon layout to the highest it goes, the font size to the lowest. Make it a single line, no shadow, to keep it like an iOS feel. And if I go back, you can see my padding. So this is my padding. So I've got it set to medium by large. So yeah, so the large is so it's all crunched in and the medium is is so on the sides there is a bit more. So it's not as crunched in, but it's there's a bit roomy because that's how it is similar to um, iOS. And there's no search bar. Uh, you don't need any of this. I've just put this in. I've got the Google Apps. I think this is um, an extra that you can get off. Uh, I think it's called Google Companion for Nova Launcher, which I've added on, which is similar to how iOS has the. Um, I forgot what it's called now. The the Spotlight Search, similar to that. Yeah. So if I go back into here. Go back into my settings. Where were we? So we were going down. Wallpaper scrolling. You can turn that on off if you want, or you can keep it on. I'm not sure. It's your preference. That most of this is just to your preference. But um, this is the simple transition that's similar to iOS. Page indicator kept it like to the iOS one. What I did was I had like an iOS next to me while I was doing this. Uh, you, if you want it exactly like iOS, you can have this. Add icons to home screen when they're installed. That's like an important one. Uh, and this is the rest of the home screen. Let's go into the app drawer. So the app drawer you can use or you can't use. It's your choice how you want it. I've got the app drawer on. So it looks like this. But when I pull it up, here's the app drawer. 
so it's a bit different from uh, iOS but um, you can turn the app drawer off if you want that's your preference if you want to keep it on if you want to turn it off that's all your choice um, but if you want the full iOS experience I'd say turn it off uh, for folders uh, because I'm on um, Nova Launcher 6 I've set the window style to immersive background color to white with a 50 that should be a 50 oh. Yeah, with a 50 transparency. Uh, it's a card background. If it's not, then it'll be like this. And I don't want that. And I want the card background. So it looks similar to iOS. Uh, corners at 48. You can turn that up a bit. But I prefer to keep that at the highest. So it looks more rounded. Because if you look at the iOS one, it's more rounded. It's hard to explain. But yeah. Uh, show folder name. That's an important one. And it should be 3x3. Three uh, it should be horizontal, not vertical. So when you're scrolling, you want to scroll. Yeah, you want to scroll left and right. So that's horizontal. Okay. Um, I've not got a proper, um, a proper like folder like layout like background, but I know there is ones that you can get off online. But I've just decided to use just that. Whatever, whatever, whatever there is, I've just decided to use that, and I've left it like that. Uh, I'm not sure why, it's just I, I've tried the other ones, but the folder icons, the ones I've downloaded, they just go too big. Um, and I've set the icon size to big as they go, but obviously it scales it down. Um, and I've set the font to condensed, but you can set it to light if you want, your choice how you have it. Condensed, uh, I'm not sure, I'll set it to light. Yeah, I'll set it to like. Um, and then zoom animation as well to keep it similar to everything else. Okay, and if I go back, look and feel. Oh, I've already done look and feel. Um, folder's done. No, no, that's that's basically all there is. Uh, there isn't anything much to it. Oh, I didn't go into the dock. Did I go into the dock? Yeah, okay. So for the dock, it is medium by medium. And the icon layouts are to the fullest again, as you'd know. Um, and I've only set it to four dock icons, similar to iOS, on the on the iPhone X. And I've set it to a custom shape. So the custom shape is 60, 60, 60, 60. You can have it at 50, 50, 50, that works as well. It's just your preference, what you have it at. And I've set the transparency to 50%. Um, I used to have it like, this yeah i used to have it like this but with the bottom it wasn't rounded off before it was crop no how did i have it uh, i'm not sure how i had it oh i had it like this yeah so before i used to have it like this so it would as you can see it would uh sink in to the navigation bar which made it look more you know uniform but um because i wanted it more like ios i set it so it's not like that i could keep it like this because it is a nice design it's a bit different um i might leave it like this actually yeah but if you wanted that rounded style you can have the rounded style or you can have it so it goes down and underneath like this which i i personally think is pretty nice it looks nice how it goes underneath and it looks like that. Um, I will, I can also make you another video if you'd like to see how I, uh, basically I've lowered my um, navigation. If you can see it's, it's a bit more lowered than normal. Um, I did that through uh, using my computer and connecting it. I think it was a uh, ABP maybe or something like that. And um, there were some commands that lower it down and then it keeps it at that stage but basically all it is it is lowering down the navigation but um you it will crop some stuff so it is cropping some of the ui and how it's meant to look but it's i've lowered it to the distance where you can't really tell but yeah let me go back into the settings for you guys um what else is then for me to show you there isn't anything else the gestures are here, so if you want to just see the gestures and copy the gestures, I'll just scroll down so you can get so you guys can see this. Uh, yeah, so that's that integrations. So yeah, Google Discover, that's what I've got, but it's a Nova Companion. 
Yeah, so this you can download this online. Uh, you can just search Google Companion for Nova Launcher and then it should come up. Notification badge. Oh, yeah, this is an important one. I just forgot. So, yeah, so set it to custom. Set the border color to red. Set the badge to red, text to white, and full on rounds and the small size. And I'll be using Tesla Unred, which is by Nova Launcher. It tells you the number. And uh, that's everything. I can also make a backup if, of this if you'd like. Uh, but yeah. Oh, the icons. Yeah. So what it is, is some icons, they don't turn out correct. So let me just show you this. Uh, so if I go into look and feel. So yeah, so I've got it set, set to this uh, 11 UI. But the thing is, if some of the icons, like let's say this FaceTime, it's not FaceTime. It's it's uh, Duo. So this is Duo. Uh, if I press YouTube, it is YouTube, but obviously it's got the TV icon and you might be asking, oh, how did I do this? So basically what I did is I hold it down, go into the edit icon, and then obviously I can I can name it to TV, but I'd rather leave it at YouTube. And then uh, if I check 11 UI, they do have a lot of the icons. So you can see they've got the YouTube icon here for me to use, but instead I use the... TV icon and that's it. So you can do that for all your icons. So I can go into this icon and then obviously this is Google Play Books, but obviously I want it to look like the iOS. So I can just go in here and then change it to that. And all I did was basically look at iOS iPhone and copy exact word, like word to word to get this design. And then the background is just, you can just search on Google um iOS backgrounds and that's it. So thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh give it a like or whatever whatever you're watching this on and I hope you enjoyed. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye.